Welcome everybody on Halloween night. Tonight is your Halloween special. The Halloween Spook Festival story. I'm going to let Jake bring come out and tell you this gruesome, spooky story. By the way, I am Jazz the Reaper. Ugh. Welcome back, guys. As you see there, Jack the, the Reaper telling you guys what this video is all about. The Halloween special is finally here. You guys have probably waited a whole year for this uh, story. Ooh. This is the front cover that I decided to uh, go with. Quite creative. <laughs> uh, let's jump into the story, shall we? A young teenager, aged 15, is a male. This is all just describing the main character. He has mainly black hair with red dyed hair at the top of his spiked up hair. He has brown eyes. He has light brown skin colour. Hopefully, I, I'm not being racist. That's just the skin colour I wanted the, my character to have for the story. Okay? I'm not being racist. We got Now that we've played uh, that over, let's continue. Uh, he has a black moustache. He is quite muscly. You know, muscly. <laughs> Uh, and five foot seven inches tall. That's quite tall for a 15 year old. <laughs> um, it is a chilly and dark late afternoon. Jackson is getting ready for this year's Halloween spook festival. Everyone from school is going. So he makes his outfit as scary and spooky as possible. Jackson has made a schoolboy zombie outfit with tears, tears, rather, in the sh white shirt and black trousers. And using body paint, he has made himself look like a real Zombie. Jackson, are you ready yet? You you might be late if we don't set off soon. Alright, Dad. I'm coming downstairs now. Just warn you, I look terrifying. Oh, wow. That is terrifying, Jackson. I think you will win the scary costume... Competition tonight. Alright, we better set off now and jump in the car. It is already unlocked. Maybe you should sit in the back. Don't want to scare the other drivers. Jackson jumps into the back seat of the car seats of the car while his dad jumps into the driver's seat. After a bit of driving they arrive at the drop off point at the spook at the Halloween spook festival. Alright Jackson, have fun. No drinking, no or smoking and be safe. Also scare em good. Alright, Dad, will do. See ya later. Jackson gets out of his dad's car and goes into the indoor bit of the festival where the competition starts first. The categories for the night are most terrifying costume, most funny, 
most random and best looking. Jackson wins most terrifying and best looking. While his friend Bob, yes, Bob. <laughs> I don't know anyone called Bob, that's why I went with Bob. And I don't know, I'm pretty sure I don't know anyone called Jackson. So, I went with names that I am I'm pretty sure I didn't know anyone uh, with those names. If I do know someone with those names, and I forgot that I knew about someone with those names, I'm sorry that I used your name. I just probably forgotten that I know that you have that name. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I get names mixed up all the time in real life and whatever. Well, this is real life. <laughs> but yeah, m mumbling. I should uh, continue the story. Um, most funny. Um, most random and best looking. Jackson wins most terrifying and best looking. While his friend Bob gets most funny with a cow dressed in a movie uniform. Puts a bit more to the joke of why did the cow cross the road? Um, just to un un the, um, explain the, the cow costume with the movie uniform. You know the joke, why did the cow cross the road? And th this is a joke that I've, that I've told a few times. Uh, and I've said to go to the movies. <laughs> Like that, you know, but more put more oomph in the moo. <laughs> um, so I thought, yeah, it'd be cliche to have someone dressed up as a cow with movie cinema uniform on, on the cow, like furry outfit sort of costume. <laughs> Um, and his good friend Zara won the most random with a zombie theory alien from out of this world. So a theory, as in like a theory like a Tinkerbell or a tooth theory, sort of theory. Um, but also being a zombie, but also being an alien. Three in one, very random. That's... <laughs> <laughs> That's the random I could think of at the time when I was writing that, but yeah. Continue. Jackson and his friends grab some food and drink from the buffet, which may, uh, was made by a local family business. After that, for no reason, no one could find any teachers or volunteers. All of a sudden, the lights cut out. Ooh. Every, every pupil puts their flashlight on their phone and a little group get the power back on. With no teachers or volunteers in sight, a pumpkin starts talking. Everyone freaks out. <gasps> but they do listen to what it said, which is the following. Welcome to the spooky festival, where most of you will die a horrible, terrifying death by all our traps. Only a few will survive tonight. The jackpot will be shared between all who make it through the whole night. The jackpot is 50 million pounds. Quite cool, right? <laughs> um, I'm running on that bit already. Uh, so next bit. Uh, that and that moves there just for a sec. That open that. Sorry, I do apologize. Your first challenge of the four is to find a key. A key. To a red double door. Double red double door. 
When you see the door key, you will know that it is the right door or key. You could not miss it. But there is a catch. They will be zombies. If they touch you, then you will disappear into thin air. They are suits around this building which have bubble making gloves using like Iron Man. <laughs> kind of like that. In the stupid movie. They will catch the zombies and pop. You have two hours and 45 minutes to escape or you will all will disappear into thin air. The pumpkin disappears out of nowhere. Junkson gets on the stage and uses the mic graphone. Well, Mike, that's good with Mike. To tell everyone his idea to make as many pupils get to the next, the, to the second challenge. The 1,250 pupils get into groups of 312 and 313. Two groups of both of those numbers. One group finds the double doors. One group finds the suits to bubble pop the zombies. One group finds the key and the last group tries to delay the zombies by setting up barricades. The plan worked for getting to the second challenge but 312 pupils, the whole of the barricade group, got touched by the zombies and disappeared. The rest of the pupils go through the door, through the dread double door, to the big forest garden. Hello again, this time you have to get through the forest garden, but the trees will move and make you choose a different path. If you don't pick fast enough, you will be trapped. And be lasered by laser die animals. This time there is no fighting back. Good luck, you will need it. Let the second challenge begin. All the pupils run through the forest, but not everyone makes it. Pupil count at 625. The time is currently one forty five AM in the very early morning. Hello once again. Your third challenge is to get to the other side of this graveyard. But you fall in, but if you fall into an empty grave and disappear like everyone else So all the Pupils try to try running across the graveyard, but not all of them make it. Another 313 pupils disappear, with Jackson, Bob and Zara still in the last 312 pupils. What was the last challenge with only three hours till sunrise? They were seeing the end of this crazy night. Your last challenge is to get through this maze. You have less than three hours till my speech at the other side. So the remaining pupils went into the maze. 112 pupils fell into the black mist void. Oh wow. 200 left over. High school, so all you get 
£450,000. Very nice generation with no one being greedy. I will see Jackson, Bob and Zara next year. Will you three will have the chance to play my video game? Good night. The talking... Pumpkin disappears into thin air. What will happen next year? Will they save the 1,050 missing pupils? The end. Dun dun dun. Cliffhanger. Click la la cliffhanger. That's the this year's Halloween special. Um, next year's Halloween special is going to be about the video game. It's going to connect to this story about the video game with Jackson, Bob and Zara trying to save the 1,050 pupil missing pupils. How will that go on? I have no idea. I, I've, not, I've not planned any of it yet. That's just... That's the only bit that I've planned. Like... You know, to make a cliffhanger for this story. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed um, reading it to you guys. Um, I quite enjoyed doing the pictures and the writing and stuff. But I probably spent like around 6-ish, 6, 15 minutes or so. Um making really you no know, prepping and then with this video as well that's easily probably six and a half six hours and 35 six hours and like 40 minutes in total of prep and recording time so yeah quite a lot of time spent on this video so hope you enjoyed it see you guys next time Bye.